The uh, Sylvonic Pro, uh, which makes about a pint in six hours, 10 part per million nano-sized particle colloidal silver, comes in this box and includes the control unit, which is digital, has uh, indicator lights that uh, show you that it's working and show you when it's over. Uh, it has a button on it that allows you to increase the strength. And this is where you plug in the electrodes. Uh, these 100, uh, these electrodes will make about 100 gallons. One pair will make about 100 gallons of colloidal silver. So you just put them into the device like this and get them squared up and parallel and you're ready to go. Uh, we include a power supply, an AC power supply that will work on any voltage anywhere in the world from 110 to 240 volts. You may need to get a plug adapter if your country uses different plugs, but this should work on your power. We also include an auxiliary power cable, which lets you use any kind of power you like. So for instance, if you wanted to use uh, 9 volt batteries, you could put three 9 volt batteries together and you clip the wires on like this and now you have 27 volts of, of power that will plug into the device. It'll work on a 12 volt car battery, it'll work off of a cigarette lighter, anything like that, a solar power uh, cell. Uh, any, anything from 12 to 36 volts will power the Sylvonic Pro. We also include instructions that uh, will guide you through the setup. This is very easy to use. It's, it's almost impossible to make uh, a mistake with this because it's fully automatic. We also include the EC3 conductivity meter in our system. This device will let you read the purity of water Ideally, uh, good distilled water will read zero. And then once you've made your colloidal silver, uh, it will tell you how strong it is. Again, we're, we're shooting for around 10 parts per million. Uh, this device here, again, is a conductivity meter. And as a conductivity meter, it reads out in microsiemens which we believe is the most accurate way to determine parts per million. A TDS meter actually reads about 50% low, so if you have a TDS meter, you actually should uh, stop your colloidal silver about five parts per million according to that, but this is, this is much more accurate. So when this says 10, you have around 10 part per million colloidal silver. You take a, a glass jar, a wide mouth jar will work fine. The device just sits right on top of it like this. And the silver sits down in the water. So you would take your distilled water and you'd fill it up your jar almost to the top. I'm going to put enough water in there so that when you put the device on it, the water comes almost up to the bottom of the connectors here. It's a good idea not to let the water get on the connectors. It won't hurt it, but it's, it's really a good idea to just have it just below the surface with the maximum amount of silver in the water, like that. Uh, you can use any size jar you like, but again, a pint jar is going to work best. Plug the power into the device. When you put it into the water, you'll see this light start to light up. It's, it can be very faint at first, and the uh, purer the water, 
the harder it is to see that light. You actually may need to turn out the lights to see it. But that light will come on and it'll stay uh, green for about five minutes and then it will uh, turn red. And it'll stay red for another five minutes and then it'll go back to green. And this indicates the uh, swap, the polarity switch. So for five minutes, one electrode is positive and the other one is negative, and then it switches and the other one is positive and negative like that. And it goes back and forth. And again, this keeps the water moving, the flow of electricity between the two. When it changes, will cause enough motion in the water to, to keep the particles from um, cling together. You need some motion in the water during this process. Heating the water also will uh, provide that motion, but um, this is sufficient to do that. Once the, uh, uh, it has reached 10 parts per million, the device senses that by measuring the conductivity in the water, and when it reaches the proper conductivity, it shuts itself off. So you don't have to, to watch it or anything. You can forget about it completely, and when you come back, it's done. And that's it. So you don't have to worry about it going too long or anything like that. It's an automatic system. In order to make stronger colloidal silver, if you wanted to make an ointment or if you wanted to make a spray for topical use, you press this button and the yellow light will come on and for each press of the button it will add another two parts per million before it shuts off. So if you press it five times it'll shut itself off when it reaches around 20 parts per million. Press it 20 times it'll add another 40 parts per million, something like that. There's a limit to how strong you can make it because there's only so many ions that the water can hold. It'll keep going and keep putting silver into the water, but uh, the meter won't read any higher. Uh, you can also uh, use the uh, sylvonic to make structured water. And to do that, you would uh, hold the button down for around five seconds and it will stay, the yellow light will stay on. Instead of turning off, it will stay on and that indicates that you're in the direct current mode.